Hello world folks, good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for guys? Hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to press that bell icon. The controversial memoir of the Duke of Sussex was published in January 10th. King Charles and Prince William have not spoken to Prince Harry since the release of his memoir Spare last week. According to a source, OK Magazine has reported, there have been claims that there's been a willingness from the king and other royals to have clear the air talks prior to the coronation on May 6th. However, according to OK, the source dismissed this, saying that there had been no contact between the monarch and the Duke of Sussex. The source stated, there has been no conversations or contact. It's also unclear if His Majesty will invite the Sussexes to his coronation given the bombshell revelations not just in Spare, but last month's Harry and Meghan Netflix series. In Spare, the Duke took aim at the King along with his brother William, a Prince of Wales, alongside their wives, Queen Consort Camilla and Kate Middleton, Princess of Wales. The Duke discussed his tense relationship with his brother in his memoir, even claiming that the Prince of Wales attacked him during a row at Nottingham Cottage in 2019, injuring his necklace and breaking a dog bowl. He also referred to the Prince of Wales who he was once thought to be close to as his arch nemesis. The Duke also referred to the time that his brother met his now wife, Meghan Markle, claimed that William recoiled when Meghan tried to hug him. In the book, the Duke also claimed that the then Prince of Wales referred to him as Spare moments after he was born in 1984. Speaking to my mother, Princess Diana, the future monarchy allegedly told his wife his delight at the birth of his second son. He said, wonderful, now you've given me an heir and the spare. My work is done. In a U.S. interview, the Duke described his mother-in-law as a villain, claiming she fed stories to the press. The Duke went as far as to claim that the Queen Consort sacrificed me on her personal PR altar, as she needed to rehabilitate her image after marrying the Prince of Wales in 2005. Despite the current tensions, a royal source speaking to the Times suggests that the reconciliation between Buckingham Palace and the Sussexes is possible, and that the King is capable of arranging successful peace talks. The source stated, it's going to take flexibility on all sides, but it can be done. It's fixable. Meets Harry over here, in a room with the King and the Prince of Wales, and a couple of other family members. Both sides need to hold up their hands and admit we didn't get everything right. We got a lot wrong. And we have to say to him, we understand the pain you've been through. The King can do it. What do you think about this news, guys? Write it in the comment section and let me know. How do you think the relationship between Prince Harry, Prince William, and King Charles will be affected by recent revelations Harry's memoir spare? Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling World updates like this, subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. Thank you so much.